Hello, honeys. Welcome back again to a wonderful new year. Thank you so much for joining us today. In this first clip, we've got a HOA member demanding that a resident take down a mounted flag right in front of his home. Take a look at this. Okay. Uh, you, you need to leave really? our property. Okay, you need to leave our property. I'm going to call the police. need to make sure. Listen. I am going to call the police. Please leave my property. You're not okay. It doesn't matter. It does matter. You're I'm not allowed to police. have our information. We don't have your information. That's what everybody's been saying. That yes. you're, okay. you know you're in charge of. No. 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 No, and there's nothing that, we have no information. We know that. We know that we're not part of your HOA. You should have never even stopped over. I'm calling you. Why? You're trespassing on my property. Leave. Because you're taking pictures. You're trespassing on my property. You're trespassing on my property. And I'll bring them back here because you are not neighborly. Look who's talking. It's obvious that you are the one that is not neighborly. First of all, for storming into someone's home, demanding for some sort of information, and also asking them to take down a mounted flag right in front of their home. Seriously, Karen? Next time, please do make sure to close the door in Karen's face. And thank you so much for your military services. It's truly appreciated. Up next, an alleged disabled veteran was denied access into a convenience store because his dogs were unleashed. Take a look at this. Is he on the phone with the police? Yes, he is. Well, I'm going to wait for them. Well, then you're going to wait for them outside of our store. You're on the phone with the police? They're outside. You wait. I have a customer, please. I request you please You cannot bring them in the store without a leash on. Yes, I can. No, you cannot. You have to please leave the store, I said. Please. please leave. Please. Are they coming? They're coming to the outside. Please That's fine. leave. I only can I just get my drink and then no, I'll go? No, you cannot. Please. We cannot sell you like this. I'm Why? You cannot sell you. We don't want to listen, so we don't want to sell you. That's it. Why? Because I'm disabled. I refuse to sell you. No, you don't. I have. No, only, only for not, 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 be, not if I'm disabled. No, you can't. That's like saying because I'm when, black. And we told you. No, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's like saying this. Like this is a whites only store. Seriously, dude, why did you have to bring race into this? And what has race got to do with you putting your dogs on a leash in a store? Unbelievable. Do you please. understand? No, it's a white you do not have the white You're you're trying to leave. tell me that because Just I'm leave. disabled. Please. Like if I came in on a you wheelchair. Go Bob's quiet. Be outside. Okay. I have a customer piece. Go outside please. If I came in on a wheelchair, would That's you a refuse? No, it's the same thing. No, because a guy in a wheelchair can't no. walk, right? Listen, a guy You're the owner, man. Can I speak with you? Can I speak with you? Come outside. You and me are gonna. I said come outside with the dog. Listen, we can talk now, or we can talk. We can talk in court for a long time. Do you want to talk? You gonna come outside with me? Yeah. Okay, go outside. Take your gun. I'm coming. I'll come out with you. Out here without a vest on. They are not legally. They're not registered as service dogs. Uh, wait for the cops. No, okay. talk to me. No, I will not talk to you. Well, you're going to talk to me in court. No, no you're going to talk to me in court. It's for a long time. Go ahead. For a long time. Go ahead. For like six months, go for like three years, five years. We don't care. We you're, don't care. No, you will care. Your dogs are not registered as service dogs because they don't have a service dog vest on. If I know. If I I'm lying about that, dog. then I pay a $100 okay. fine. You'll pay a $5,000 fine, but we're but, not going to No, it's $100. Oh, you yes, you will. wants to be in court. Yes, you will. Go ahead. You're going to get fine. Take fined. us to court. I'm going to. Your dogs don't have a service dog. I'm going That's to take fine. you to court. So go right ahead. We I'm don't going care. to take Goodbye, you to court. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. I'm going to take you to Goodbye. court. Goodbye. I'm waiting for Goodbye. the police. Goodbye. Did you call them or no? I'm all for service animals, but having multiple dogs in the store unleashed, I don't think that's safe. But let me know what you think in the comment section. 
In this next clip, you will be watching a dispute between next door neighbors. Make sure to watch the clip to the end. Take a look. So it's flashing people. I don't care. You already showed that to the police. They already told about it. Yeah? So you really think that's a good look for you? Because it's not. He was backing out of my driveway. So if you really want to start something, we can go. Yeah. If you really want to start something, we can go. You leave my son out of it. I've had it. He's not driving. He was in his lap so I could come in the driveway. No, it's not okay. I'm tired of you talking about my son. You can insult me. You can flash me. You can flip me off. You can stalk me. You can go by my house. I don't care. But leave my son out of it. Come over here and I'll show you how mean I can be. Oh, what? You won't step over here? Yeah, you're not allowed to be on my property. Oh, yeah, of course he did. Of course he did. Yeah, go back inside. Go back inside. If you really want to start something, come over here. I've had it with you. You leave my son out of it. Leave my son out of it. And your creepy husband creeping on me and her. I've had it. Okay, when are you moving? Good. I know, why not? Why don't you move away? That's what most people do. They move away. You've been here, here, and there. Okay, all right, fine. Leave my son out of your mouth. Get in the house. I'm tired. I'm tired of it. Well, then shut your mouth and leave my son out of it. And tell him to stop being creepy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, he is creepy. Come on. You're all right. You're all right. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. What did we do to you? You are creepy and you're following me and you were on my property. Ashley, please stop. What? You can talk to me because I own this property and my issue is with you. At some point, you gotta stop. He did not threaten you at all. No, he didn't. He did not. So leave, leave us alone. Leave my son out of your mouth, and we'll be good. We'll be good. So what did he say in the van? Because I was busy with her. He just said that um, somebody cost him. You cost him five hundred dollars because of his dogs. And I said, well, they wouldn't get out all the time. And he said, that, well, what if he'd let him out on my grandson right now? After the confrontation and the drama between both neighbors, the cops were called. You're going to be watching what happened next when the cop arrived. They're liking that you're getting upset over those little things. So if I were you, I just wait for the protection order, get yeah. in place, and just completely ignore them. Act well, that's, like they're not there. And that's what I normally do. Soon, and the separation, the actual house being between you guys, hopefully that's enough to where 
you know, you guys no longer really see each other that much anymore. Yeah. And they just they leave you alone, and the protection order will 100% solve it. So if they come in any contact, you have them cameras, they come up here, and they even say a word to you, that's, they can be arrested. Even on the road? Correct. Yeah, they can't. Like with the protection order? Yeah, protection order, they can't have any contact with you whatsoever. No matter Dri- what Driving feet. past the house, that's different because of your neighbor. So. What if they stop and, like, say stuff? If they stop and say anything to you, that's rest. Because they whatever. do that. They do that all the time. They'll stop, flip me off. They'll stop and say stuff. I actually just have a video of that. What, yesterday she yeah, did that? Can't. Once the protection order is in place, they can't do any of that whatsoever. They'll solve all that. They can drive past the house since they're still your neighbor, so they have to drive, you know, to get home. But if they stop and your camera picks it up and they're saying anything or whatever, that's boom, like that. They're going to jail. Okay. Because so. he tries to whistle that's, at that's me all the time. And, okay. I'll, I'll try that. Like I said, I know it's hard um, with the protection order since they're so close. I'm hoping, like, if they move, it'll be it'll be better. But yeah. I don't I don't know, man. I don't know why they live here and then they move there and then now they're moving there. Like, why not move away? If you have a Karen as a next door neighbor, I think it's best never to engage them. If you don't engage them, definitely they cannot intimidate you. Try as much as you can to ignore them. Smile and wave if you can whenever you see them. Trust me, it drives them bonkers. In this next clip, a man goes off on his wife for this. Take a look at the drama. I want to bring your brother. What? Bring your brother. So that's the type of woman I married? No. Huh? What do you mean? Am I stuttering? You want to bring my brother in? Spice it up a little bit. It's just your brother. This is so unbelievable. She wants to bring his brother into their relationship. And she said, it's just your brother. Even though you might think it's a skit. But believe me, there are so many relationships out there that are like this. Keep watching. So you for the streets, right? It's, it's, not, it's not for the streets. I'm keeping it in the family. Hey, man, y'all hear this? This is supposed to be my wife. Not my girlfriend, but my wife. She asked to bring my brother. Not no... Like, are you sick? Like, this is blowing my mind right now. I just want to spice it up a little bit. It's getting kind of boring. Spice it up with my brother? So that means on Thanksgiving, Christmas, every time you've been around, no. you've been looking at him like this, right? No, not every time. Not every time. Look at you. and you, Like, you, you dead serious right now. Yes, I'm dead serious. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Girl, you... That's, that's your brother. I'm not asking everybody else. What you mean? And I'm asking you. I can't believe this right now. And you know, I was thinking about having a baby with you. We can still have uh, No, nah, I'm cool. I'm done. So you, you put your shoes on. The shoes I, I, I bought. Your phone. You're not taking this. What? No. Nah. You serious? I'm dead serious. You can come get out. On. No. Like, come on. Like, I There's really. Nothing. You're over exaggerating. I'm over exaggerating? I really was hoping that you was playing around. Matter of fact, these keys, I've been making payments on. You can catch an Uber or call my brother then. Like, are you serious right now? And I will call your brother. What's up? He got more money than you. I'm serious right now. Yeah. So what do my brother do for you, huh? What do you mean? What do you do for me? Hmm? He doesn't do anything. I just think he's sweet. He's but you, attractive. you just said you would call him as if something been going on beforehand. I mean, um, no. So you got something to tell me? You don't even seem like you care right now. Like, you so nonchalant. Like, okay, yeah. are you playing with me right now? Okay, yeah. It has been a little flirting, a little texting. Wow. But we haven't did anything. Wow. We haven't did anything. I swear we have did anything. That's why I wanted to ask you. No. Yeah. How would you feel if... That's totally different. It is. It's different? Yeah, it's totally how? different. How? Tell me how. <laughs> Your sister look good. So, I'm going to go ahead and call her. If you're going to call my brother, I'm going to call her. can't do what I can do, so we just going to What do you do? You're going to do anything. So, what do you do? Yes, I do. You's a I'm bum, not. and you for the streets. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You know what? Get, get out. I'm cool. I'm like, not going to get out. This matter of fact, call an Uber. I live here. Matter of fact, I got you. Since I got your phone, I'm going to call an Uber. I need my phone, baby. No, no, you're not. Mm -mm. I'm cool. It's over with. You're doing a lot. So, you uh -huh. just stand there, look stupid. I don't you're care. You're not going to even try? I'm, I'm good. I promise you I'm good. I'm, 
Like, matter of fact, your sister look better than you. Cause that's that's actually who I wanted the first time, but I settled for you. No, you lying. it's cool. You're not hey y'all, so just just so y'all know, when y'all see her, she is single. She's for the streets. I'm not single. We're together. She's for the streets. Seriously, dude, why are you asking so many questions? The fact that your wife has shown you that she's disloyal, I think it's about time that you kick her out and move on with your life. That's just me. But if you're the one in this situation, let me know what you would do in the comment section. Finally, on this episode of Karen's in the Wild, a customer at Walmart was asked to show his receipt when leaving the store. You will not believe what happened. Take a look. No. Or not bag. That's, 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 that's a you problem. Bag. Then no, get bigger not. bags. No, it's not. Okay, because I don't no, legally, I do not have to. Yes, you do. Well, I don't. Yes, you do. Okay, what yes, law is that? Stuff. It's in our It's my stuff. So you do, you have it, do you have it on the door? Is there a sign that says Why that? Why do you have a problem you showing your receipt? Why do you just have a yeah, problem? Yeah, oh, I'm recording. Yeah, I'm recording everything. No. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Would you like to show me the law? Is there a law? Yeah. This is private property. I don't even have to let you shop here. That's my private property now that I purchased it. I purchased it. You know what? And we purchased all that freight that was inside. That's fine, but yeah. that, what's in that? So you can show your receipt if you have a problem with that. But I'm not. Here, I have my receipt. Thank that's all you have to do. Okay. So why, why, why no, I showed her the receipt like this. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you can speak with Jeanette. You're, Did you're she gonna... ask you? Because I said that you ran past you told him no. No, I said no. I said no. Like this. It's more than going to hand her my receipt. Everything that's in that truck and that was in that buggy that's is my fine. private property that's now. Fine. But you know what? It's actually not the private yes, property. Yes, it is. No. Is what we paid for. Okay. And that right there is what I paid for. And you know what? I'm protecting my stuff. I'm protecting so, my stuff. That is my not? property. This is my property. See that? $215? That's All my property. I show her. I did. I would show her. But you know, I'm not going to hand, I'm not going to hand her anything. This is my private property. And you can all of y'all get the fuck out, out of my face. No, we can call right? the cops. You can call the police. Call the police. I, would, I encourage you to call the police. Okay? I'll even give you my address and you they can come to my house because my son's in there. All, see, that's I did. The thing. All you have to do is just show her your. That's no. like you had things no. that were not bagged. That's, 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 that's a you problem. Bag. Then no, get it's bigger bag. No, it's not. Okay? Because I don't no, legally, I do not have to. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Okay, what it law is, is that? Stuff. It's, it's, in our it's my stuff. It's so you do, you have it, do you have it on the door? Is there a sign that says that? Why do you have a problem showing her your receipt? Why do you just have a problem? Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah, I'm recording everything. Huh? I'm recording too. I'm just saying. Because I, I because that because that's the where it starts. Right? Well, Beginning to conform. Just because you got a uniform on, I don't have a or because you got this dude here, you think he's gonna stop <laughs> me from doing anything? You don't have to disrespect yeah? me. Okay. Okay. You're disrespecting me no, by coming. Because basically by doing this, you're accusing me of stealing. I'm not accusing something. you. Basically okay. You well then get the you away from me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh no! Thank you. Yeah, keep running your mouth. After all is said and done, a customer is legally responsible to show their receipt when leaving Walmart store. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.